the centre, we meet tour guide Brian Colopy, who's originally from the nearby town of Brough. Having dropped out of college, he found himself on an employment scheme here at Loch Gur, a move that changed the course of his life. Now armed with a degree in heritage studies and with plans for a master's degree, he still loves his work here. The thing about Loch Gur is there's such a density of archaeological sites around here and it's, you're blessed with this ability to actually traverse thousands of years of history within you know, a few miles radius of the lake so I can go from the Neolithic into the Bronze Age into the early Gaelic period right up into modern times and I can do that within two and a half hours on sites around the actual lake itself. Right so Marion what we have here are some axes from the Neolithic or Stone Age so you're probably talking five six thousand years ago five out of over 200 that have been found around the lake and then up here we've got some Bronze Age axes you're talking still three, four thousand years old, but it just shows to show you that even though the lake has been extensively explored for several centuries now, there's still things that can be found here. Yeah, so this is the Locker Shield replica, which was discovered on the far side of Nakadoon Bog about late 19th century. It's a shield from the later Bronze Age, so about 3,000 years ago. Most likely ceremonial in function, incredibly thin, between 0.4 and 0.7 millimetres thickness in places, so most likely it was used in a ceremonial function as opposed to in battle. And this year, for the first time, Brian is conducting tours from the lake itself. I mean, you have to remember, the lake is why, why archaeology is here. The first Neolithic settlers came here, and that lake played a massive role in it as a source of water, and also was probably attracting in animals and whatnot. The same water is why Gaelic Ireland was here, and why there was dunes being built all around the place, cashels, rats. So, I mean, the lake really is at the heart of it all. Like, and this is the first time, at least in my living memory, that people are getting a chance to actually go out on the lake and I suppose view it from the point of view that you know, these first settlers would have seen it 6,000 years ago. So what is it that's so magical about this ancient place? There's definitely a draw and an allure to Loch Gur. There's a power in this landscape that it's, it's, it's almost impossible to to define, but there's a palpable sense of something bigger and something deeper going on here. I mean, that's reflected in the fact that there's been continuous habitation for 6,000 years, so we're the last of 100 or 1,000 generations of people to stand on these lake shores and feel, I suppose, a connection to something bigger, I guess. Yeah. 